Blood is a vital component of the human body, responsible for transporting oxygen, nutrients, and hormones to every cell, as well as removing waste products and carbon dioxide. Maintaining healthy blood levels is crucial for overall well-being and optimal body function. In this video, we'll share with you 13 blood-producing foods you can add to your diet to support your health. Number one, beetroot. Beetroot is high in folic acid, iron, potassium, and fiber, making it an excellent food to increase the body's red blood cell count. It produces blood in the body by converting nitrates into nitric oxide, which improves blood flow and blood pressure regulation, then by increasing red blood cell production, which helps to carry oxygen throughout the body and improves mitochondrial function, which enhances energy production and reduces oxidative stress. Beets have compounds with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties that can reduce the risk of developing anemia, a condition in which the body cannot produce enough blood cells. Additionally, beetroot is a great source of dietary fiber, which helps improve overall digestive health and ensure smooth body functioning. Number two, pomegranate. Pomegranate is a fruit that is associated with several health benefits, including improving blood flow and reducing blood pressure. While it may not directly produce blood in the body, it can help to improve the overall health of the circulatory system. One way that pomegranate may help to improve blood flow is by increasing the production of nitric oxide in the body. Nitric oxide is a molecule that helps to relax and dilate blood vessels, allowing blood to flow more easily. Pomegranate contains a compound called elagic acid, which has been shown to increase nitric oxide production in the body. Additionally, pomegranate has been shown to inhibit the activity of an enzyme called Angiotensin Converting Enzyme, ACE. ACE is a protein that plays an important role in controlling blood pressure by constricting blood vessels. By inhibiting ACE, pomegranate may help to reduce blood pressure and improve blood flow. Hence, while pomegranate may not directly produce blood in the body, it can help to improve the overall health of the circulatory system and reduce the risk of certain diseases. Number three, leafy green vegetables. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, and Swiss chard are rich in iron, which is essential for producing hemoglobin. They also contain nitrogen, which helps deliver oxygen throughout the body and reduces the risk of blood clots. Additionally, leafy greens are rich in nitrate, which is converted into nitric oxide in the body helping to relax and dilate blood vessels, improving blood flow and reducing blood pressure. They also provide vitamin K, which is essential for blood clotting. Number four, beans and legumes. Beans and legumes are rich in nutrients like protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They support overall health, including the production of red blood cells. They are high in iron, which is essential for hemoglobin production and they also provide folate, a B vitamin important for red blood cell production and anemia prevention. Additionally, they offer high quality protein necessary for blood production. Number five, nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds like almonds, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds provide essential nutrients for healthy blood production. They contain iron for making hemoglobin, folate for proper red blood cell formation, and vitamin E for protecting red blood cells. Their antioxidants reduce inflammation inflammation and stress, promoting healthy blood vessels and flow. Walnuts, almonds, and sunflower seeds also contain omega-3 fatty acids for better blood vessel function. However, remember to consume nuts and seeds in moderation, as they are high in calories and fat. A balanced diet that includes a variety of whole foods, including nuts and seeds, can help to support overall health and well-being. Number 6 fatty fish. Eating fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, trout, herring, and halibut, can help stimulate blood production in several ways. These fish are rich in omega-3 fatty acids particularly EPA and DHA, which help reduce inflammation in the body, improve blood vessel function, and increase blood flow. This, in turn, can aid the body in producing more blood. Fatty fish also contain high levels of omega-3 fatty acids, which aid in releasing nitric oxide into the body. Nitric oxide is a powerful vasodilator that dilates blood vessels increasing blood flow and oxygen delivery to the body's tissues. This process can help stimulate the production of red blood cells, essential for carrying oxygen throughout the body. Additionally, 
Fatty fish are rich in antioxidants, such as vitamin D and selenium, which help protect the body from oxidative stress and inflammation. This can help maintain healthy blood vessels and promote the production of new red blood cells. Regular consumption of fatty fish can help maintain healthy cardiovascular function, essential for blood production. A healthy heart efficiently pumps blood, which can help increase blood production and circulation. Number 7. Sweet Potatoes Sweet potatoes are a rich source of vitamin B6, which helps maintain healthy homocysteine levels in the blood. High homocysteine levels can increase the risk of blood clots and cardiovascular diseases. Vitamin B6 also reduces platelet aggregation, which can hinder blood clotting. Additionally, sweet potatoes are a good source of vitamin C, which can help reduce platelet aggregation, prevent blood clots, and is essential for the production of collagen, a protein that provides structure to blood vessels. Moreover, sweet Sweet potatoes are high in fiber, which can help regulate blood sugar levels and prevent spikes in blood glucose, reducing the risk of developing insulin resistance, a condition that can lead to blood clotting disorders. They also contain antioxidants like beta-carotene, which protect the body from oxidative stress and inflammation, thus reducing the risk of blood clotting disorders and improving overall cardiovascular health. Sweet potatoes contain resistant starch a type of fiber that can feed the good bacteria in the gut, improving gut health and reducing inflammation, which can contribute to blood clotting disorders. Number 8. Turmeric Turmeric, a spice commonly used in Indian and Middle Eastern cuisine, offers several health benefits, including potential effects on blood production. While turmeric itself doesn't directly stimulate blood production, its active compound, curcumin, has been found to positively impact blood circulation and blood vessel health. Turmeric may help increase the production of nitric oxide, NO, a molecule that relaxes and dilates blood vessels, leading to improved blood flow and circulation. Curcumin has been shown to boost NO production, thus enhancing blood vessel function and reducing blood pressure. Turmeric's anti-inflammatory properties may also contribute to blood production. Inflammation can damage blood vessels and reduce blood flow, negatively affecting blood production. The anti-inflammatory effects of curcumin may help reduce inflammation and promote healthy blood vessel function, indirectly supporting blood production. Additionally, turmeric has antioxidant and antiplatelet properties, which may reduce the risk of blood clots and support healthy blood flow. In summary, while turmeric itself does not directly stimulate blood production, its active compound, curcumin, offers multiple benefits for blood circulation and blood vessel health. By boosting nitric oxide production, Reducing inflammation and possessing antioxidant and antiplatelet properties, turmeric may indirectly support blood production and overall cardiovascular health. Number 9. Ginger. Ginger has been shown to improve blood flow by relaxing blood vessels and reducing inflammation. This can help to improve circulation and increase blood production. Additionally, ginger has anti inflammatory properties that can reduce blood clotting, improving blood flow and reducing the risk of blood clots. Furthermore, ginger contains antioxidants that protect the body from oxidative stress and inflammation, which can damage blood vessels and reduce blood production. Studies have also shown that ginger can improve platelet function, helping to improve blood clotting and reduce the risk of bleeding. Moreover, ginger's anti-inflammatory properties can reduce inflammation in the body, further improving blood flow and reducing the risk of blood clots. Lastly, ginger has been shown to improve digestion, aiding in nutrient absorption and reducing inflammation, both of which can improve blood production. Number 10. Dark Chocolate Dark chocolate contains flavonoids, which are antioxidants that help improve blood flow by causing blood vessels to dilate. This increased blood flow can improve the production of blood by increasing the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the bone marrow, where blood cells are produced. Dark chocolate also contains a compound called theobromine, which can increase the production of nitric oxide in the body. Nitric oxide is a molecule that helps relax blood vessels and improve blood flow, ultimately enhancing the production of blood. Additionally, flavonoids in dark chocolate have anti-inflammatory properties that can reduce inflammation in the body. Chronic inflammation can lead to a decrease in blood production, so reducing inflammation can help improve blood production. Dark chocolate has been found to improve the deformability of red blood cells, 
which is important for blood flow and oxygen delivery to the body's tissues. Improved red blood cell deformability can help improve blood production by increasing the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the bone marrow. Furthermore, dark chocolate is rich in antioxidants, which can help reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Antioxidants can improve blood production by reducing the damage caused by free radicals and improving the overall health of the blood vessels. Overall, eating dark chocolate can help improve blood production by enhancing blood flow, increasing nitric oxide production, reducing inflammation, improving red blood cell deformability, and increasing antioxidant concentration. Number 12. Prunes. Prunes, also known as dried plums, are a nutrient-dense fruit that provides a notable amount of iron, fiber, and vitamin K. They serve as an excellent dietary choice if you are looking to boost your iron levels, as prunes contain a higher iron content compared to other dried fruits. The fiber present in prunes not only aids in promoting healthy digestion, but also supports the production of red blood cells. Furthermore, the presence of vitamin K in prunes plays a crucial role in the synthesis of prothrombin, a protein essential for blood clotting. Prunes can be enjoyed as a standalone snack or incorporated into various baked goods to add natural sweetness and nutritional benefits. Number 13. Quinoa. Quinoa is a great source of iron an essential mineral that plays a crucial role in the production of red blood cells. Iron deficiency can lead to anemia, a condition characterized by a lack of red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood. Consuming quinoa can help increase iron levels and prevent anemia. Quinoa is also a rich source of folate, a B vitamin that is essential for the production of red blood cells. Folate deficiency can lead to anemia, so consuming quinoa can help maintain healthy folate levels. Additionally, quinoa is a good source of magnesium, a mineral that helps regulate blood flow and blood pressure. Magnesium deficiency can lead to blood clotting disorders, so consuming quinoa can help maintain healthy blood clotting. Furthermore, quinoa contains antioxidants that help protect the body from oxidative stress and inflammation, which can damage blood vessels and lead to blood clotting disorders. Quinoa's high fiber content can help regulate blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity, which can help prevent blood sugar-related complications such as anemia. Finally, quinoa is a complete protein, containing all nine essential amino acids that the body cannot produce on its own. Protein is essential for the production of red blood cells, so consuming quinoa can help maintain healthy protein levels. And that's a wrap. We hope you found this video on 13 blood-producing foods informative and helpful. Adding these nutrient-dense foods to your diet can support your health and well-being and keep your blood levels healthy. Whether you're looking to improve your iron levels, boost red blood cell production, or maintain a balanced diet, these foods can help you achieve your goals. On a side note, please keep in mind that the information provided in this video is not intended to replace professional medical advice, and it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice on maintaining healthy blood levels. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, comment, and share my channel. I can't grow this channel without your support. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Take care and adios.